Hey guys, before we get into the new kids, I want to talk about the Gundam Builders Re-Rise. I've just watched the final episode, number 26, and I want to share my thoughts on the entire series as a whole. Now let's talk first about the story. I mean, obviously the Re-Rise is a continuation from the original Builders, and again, some of you are big fans of that universe and some are not, but I think the story was more on a personal level driving the friendship and the bonds between all the characters versus how all the previous uh, Gundam franchises is all about you know fights Gundam tournaments and also you know war so this time around I think this is probably a lot easier for non-fans to get into as well from a story level in terms of character I do have to give props to the guys at Sunrise I mean definitely the characters are a lot more distinct and different compared to build that was before it but for the lead character himself, Mr. Hiroto, he is kind of bland and that's the only thing that I wish he kind of you know, expressed a lot more emotions throughout the series. That was my only wish but didn't really come true. By far, my favourite character in the entire Rewrite series is actually Mr. Freddy, the furry in the GBN universe. So he's a real life AI that's living in the system. And the reason why I like Freddy is because he's always very positive, he's always looking for a solution, he's never down. So yeah, I think Freddy and a lot of you judging from the comments on social media, you agree with me as well. In terms of mobile suit design, I have to say, I give props again to the guys in Sunrise and Bandai for designing something totally new where you have a core Gundam that docks into different armor system which is named on the planetary system as well and that is actually quite courageous to try something new something different from the usual Gundam mobile suit designs that we've seen before but other than that the only two other mobile suit designs that I really like is the Zelzum and the Tertium the other mobile suit designs are a little bit too generic and they do seem too much alike of what we've seen before in the Build Devils and also the Gunpla Fighters series So what's my verdict or what do I think about the Rerise series as a whole? Well, I'm not a very big fan of the Build Divers or even the Rerise because the story focuses too much on the characters saving another person's um, life in the system and that is a little bit different from you know the Gundam franchise that I used to know and love where it's all about war, all about battles and that is really missing from the entire Rerise series. So Rerise is really all about the connections and building the bonds between the characters and the players and also between the AI within the GPN series itself. But I do know a lot of you are big fans of the Rerise and also the Build Ever series and you love how both sides of Season 1 and Season 2 are connected to each other in this grand finale. And what a finale it was, right? I mean, episode 26, even though I don't like this series, I really enjoyed looking at episode 26 because there was a lot of homage to Gunpla Builders where there was a model kit that was using a dipper to go into battle there were a lot of cameos different mobile suits that were coming out at the very last minute and in fact there was even a new Gunpla kit being introduced in the final episode which to be very frank is probably the first time I see Bandai introduce a new <laughs> mobile suit and also a Gapla kit at the final episode. So all in all, to me, I think the series is possible. It's a um, six and a half or seven at best out of 10. And I know a lot of you are probably gonna bash me and say, you know, how can I give such a low score? And then again, you know, um, it, it just didn't really connect with me. But I know quite a lot of you are big fans, but do watch out. Apparently there's gonna be a new Gunpla Build Divers Rewrite series manga coming out in September or October and there will be a lot more new uh, mobile suits designs coming out in the manga as well. So stay tuned for that. Now let's talk about the new kits. This was the kit that was introduced in the final episode of Build Devil Rewrite and I don't think I got the name right but this is Google translation. This is the high grade 144 scale road astray double rebake. Of course, this design is based on the Astray known name that we've seen in the Build Divers series before it. And I don't think that the asymmetrical design and also the extended arms of this Astray is really quite wow. And it was actually quite powerful. If you guys have watched episode 26, you will see that how he managed to destroy one aircraft carrier by himself. So definitely something to look out for. And it's actually quite cheap for a one 
one for first kill kit coming in at 2750 yen this one will be released sometime in october this year so we should be getting the kit probably sometime in november in the rest of the world now let's talk about something else and that is of course a new premium banner kit based on the aoz series advance of zeta and i really hate bandai for doing this but unfortunately the upcoming gundam tr-1 master grade is going to be a premium kit so this is the hazel osla i hope i got the name pronounced correctly and you guys will probably know i am a huge fan of anything that is part of the aoz universe the entire mecha design is really cool and that's why i've always uh, veered towards that but unfortunately given the price of 8800 yen excluding shipping i think this kit will probably be out of reach for many including myself especially during these tough times but then again you know given that um banda usually re-releases kit in the next two to three years so if you think that you'll not be able to afford this so don't worry just wait a couple of more years bandai would definitely be reissuing this i am sure that within this year itself bandai will probably issue a second or third production run just for this kit i think so far in the last two years from 2019 to 2020 bandai has actually reissued many uh, new production runs for all the premium bandai kits based on the aoz series so i think that is a quite a good testament of how fans are really crazy about the aoz mobile suit designs but unfortunately you know bandai has decided to go with their premium bandai route and yes if you look at both 2019 and even 2020 this year for a fact there are definitely a lot more premium bandai releases for any grades for that matter compared to the normal grade releases and i know a lot of you are quite sore about this but if you really think about it there are actually more than 100 different SKUs in terms of Gunpla that you can choose from. From Master Grade, High Grade, Reborn World Model Series, and also for SDCS. Uh, you know, there's just so many that you can start to build that we have not even had a chance to actually buy and build. So fret not, if you think that you can't afford this, maybe check it out in the future for re reissues of these kits. I would like to hear from you guys what you thought about the Build Diverse Re-Rise finale or even the series as a whole. You know, what was your favorite mobile suit design and also character from this series? And what do you think about the um, new no-name redesigned Astray? Would you guys be buying that? Let me know. I will see you guys in the comment section down below. But for those of you who are new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel. We are trying to hit 100k subscribers. So thank you guys for watching. See you later.